Of all the labels throughout music history, there's none with as unique or important a story as the great Chess Records. Originally known as Aristocrat Records, Leonard Chess bought the company in 1947, and three years later, his brother Phil bought the remainder of the stock in the company, and they renamed it Chess Records, with Gene Ammons' My Foolish Heart being the first ever release on the label. Less than a year after taking over the label, they began working with the somewhat unknown Memphis Recording Service, which was at the time owned by a guy named Sam Phillips. In April of 1951, Phillips passed along to the label a single by a group named Jackie Breston and his Delta Cats. And for those who don't know, the Delta Cats were actually Ike Turner's Kings of Rhythm, and the song, called Rocket 88, remains what many see as the first true rock and roll record ever. Soon after this, Chess began distributing the music of Howlin' Wolf, and up until his passing in 1976, they released every single song he ever recorded. Throughout the 1950s, iconic DJ Alan Freed would push a number of groups towards Chess Records. And while there were a number of them, he was the one responsible for getting Chess Records groups like the Coronets and the Moon Glows, the former of which are definitely best known for their rendition of the song Sincerely. In the beginning of the 60s, the label brought in legendary producer Ralph Bass, and it's his work that you can hear on countless classic gospel and blues records from that era. It's also around this time that the label brought in bassist and songwriter Willie Dixon, and everyone from The Doors to Bob Dylan to Led Zeppelin have covered Dixon's songs over the decades. Along with all of this, the house band at Chess Records was easily on par with the legendary groups that played at other big studios, as the likes of drummer Maurice White, pianist Leonard Kasten, and guitarist Pete Cozy were among the fantastic players that were on these records. More than almost any other label of the era, Chess really prided themselves on going the entire width of the musical spectrum. From the rock and roll of Ike Turner and Chuck Berry, to the blues of John Lee Hooker and Muddy Waters, to the gorgeous sounds of Etta James and Otis Rush, the label remained synonymous with the greatest quality in music. However, after the imprint was sold in 1969, the label found itself involved in a number of different lawsuits. And in 1975, General Recorded Tape, the company that purchased the imprint, effectively shut down the label, and while there were a handful of reissues throughout the 80s, the label itself faded into a bit of musical obscurity. Yet the fact remains that due to the wide range in artists that it cultivated, as well as the music that it brought to the masses, one simply cannot overstate the importance of chess records. Hey!